What's up, guys? How's it going? Mike the Tech here, and welcome to a long-awaited update to our Unreal Engine tutorial. I do plan to keep this going. Um, I just figured there wasn't as much interest. Um, they didn't tend to get as many views as my other videos, so I just um, kind of got sad and assumed that no one wanted to see them, but I've actually been getting a lot of really great comments on these videos, and um, I figured that... Um, those made enough of an impact on me to make me want to make more videos. It was it was really nice to see those comments of thanks and um, hoping for, for more videos soon. So I would also like to, before we get started, give a huge shout out to Miss Kick 2S and Rob Leslie. Miss Kick 2S is um, a new channel member and um, I'm very excited to have her support and appreciation. It means a lot. If you want to join and be a... Um, channel member you can click join below and there's a few different tiers that'll get you access to uh, live stream archives as well as shout outs like this in videos and rob leslie is also someone that um, has been leaving a lot of really great comments another channel member of ours um who just really kind of inspired me to make more videos like this so yeah before i get too sappy i'll jump right into the video um, in this video, I plan to give our AI a little bit more sensing before we jump into some of the suggestions from um, from Rob, for example, for making a user interface and things like that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and um, have our AI sense when you're near so that um, it will only run towards you when you're close enough, not all the time, because it's kind of um, a lot when it's constantly running at you, right? All right, so what we're going to do is go over to our pawn and go to Edit Blueprint. And we're going to add a pawn sensing component. There we go. And this pawn sensing component will, uh, let's zoom out here and compile, create an area around the, the AI that it can see and hear. So let's go ahead and adjust some of these thresholds. Hearing threshold and sight radius. We'll bring them down a little bit so they're not as dramatically long. And then um, we're actually going to make a new event called on C pawn. All right. So this is going to be where we're going to have our script running instead of our um, level blueprint tick. So let's go ahead and open up our level blueprint. And let's drag this. Let's cut that. All right, so once we removed it from our um, level blueprint, we're going to go ahead and start off here with a cast to uh, cast to character. And we're going to drag off of this to AI move to. And we're going to say that our character is the target actor. And our pawn is uh, self. So it's just us. Let's compile this and see if it worked. So it should not be running to us yet. All right. And it sees us and is now running towards us. And if we get out of the nav bounds, he'll stop running. And if we get far enough away, we should be able to get back in the nav bounds. And he currently can't see us. And if I get close enough, you can see me. So yeah, um, now we have a bit more um, in-depth AI that will actually sense if you're near before running towards you, which I think is pretty cool. All right, so that's it. 
Um, in the next episode, we're going to be creating a user interface as well as some coins to pick up and track in that user interface to show how many we've picked up. Um, and then we'll be going on to some more um, of the ideas that have been suggested in our comment section. So if you have ideas, be sure to post them below. Thank you so much for watching and peace. What? You've never heard of stream savers? And you thought PewDiePie was the only YouTuber to make a game? <laughs> I made a game too, and it's called Stream Savers, and it's available for pre-order right now for $9.99, and that's a great price.